Music starts now. Welcome everyone to uh, the third episode of our podcast, the Barry Down and Twelve podcast. It is September third, two thousand and eleven. My name is David Colossa, and with me here today is Scotty. Scotty. <coughs> Scotty. Scotty. Yeah. Here I am. Hello. He, he doesn't have a surname. I'm um, also here. Yeah. So it, it's been a while since our other podcast because yeah. we can't keep a schedule or we're just <coughs> ridiculous. But but I did sort of try and. Uh, help that along a bit by making a scheduling decision with David that we only sort of decide to record this if we know there's going to be a day the next day or some somewhere around there where we can edit and upload it and do all that crap soon yep yeah, yeah, because we want, we want to put it up within the day uh, well within a day or two that we've uh, recorded it because with the last one there was this long gap between recording it and uploading it which is a bit stupid yeah it was like two weeks three weeks who's counting point is we're here we're not back, in, back in the world <laughs> So, what's been happening, Scotty? There's a few things that have happened in the, what, month, two months that we, <laughs> that we haven't recorded Are we podcast? talking about us or news or what? Anything. Anything. Oh, that's a bit... I, I need to speak no. better No! <laughs> are we starting off with that? No! <laughs> are yes, you sure are. you want to start on that? Because we will be on that topic for a fucking long time. <laughs> Well, we uh, might as well start it now. <laughs> All right, so that fuck we don't it, fine. Go way over time. Okay, everybody. <laughs> The um, that's the dumb topic sound. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to hear that a lot. Today. Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars on Blu-ray up coming up in a couple of weeks. Star Wars Blu-ray edition. Clips have already been leaking from China. I think is where the first uh, leaks were coming. Those f- and uh, to be honest, yep. uh, I don't know the. Uh, so um, there's a clip of Obi Wan trying to scare away the uh, Tusken Raiders, the Sand yeah. People. Yep. And there's also a clip of Darth Vader throwing the Emperor down the hole, down the well. There's a, a shot of R2-D2 hiding behind some rocks that, uh, <laughs> that needs, oh, to, I don't even know about that needs to be seen to be believed. Oh, you have to send me that one right now while <laughs> ba- we're talking. <laughs> Badly superimposed rocks that... <laughs> okay, and then uh, also there is uh, Yoda from episode one. <laughs> Who's been replaced through, with CG. Let's go through them in reverse order. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll talk. We'll start with Yoda first. It's also chronological order. Which one? Um, Yoda. Okay, Yoda. Yep. Now he's being replaced. the The puppet is being replaced with CG. Yeah. Now, first off, I mean, the first thing that you have to think is that it's Phantom Menace. Nobody really cares. Yeah, like nobody gives a shit. Not ruining anybody's childhood memories. It's a bit annoying that. Uh, Actually, no. You know what? I, I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, I actually do not give two shits about that one being replaced. I mean, I... Because the puppet looked stupid. It looked a bit weird anyway. It was like yeah. big puffy kind of... It actually looked like a sort of a green Mark Hamill. Like an old Mark Hamill? Well, I did say green, but yeah, that too. Green and old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. That, I can say that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, And I guess it keeps it in line with like the rest of the prequels. I think it actually they... Makes them- he probably should replace a few of the other actors with CG, such as Samuel L. Jackson, who spent the three prequel films sort of with this disappointed look on his face. He didn't get to do much, did he? He was sort of like, oh man, I thought we were going to make a Star Wars film. What is this shit? Oh my God. Why am I sitting around in a council chamber? What is this fucking negotiations on about, motherfucker? Motherfucking (laughs) Jedi sitting around in a motherfucking room. (laughs) He just looks so frustrated with the movies. He no, finally, I'm sure he, oh, I'm sure he, he suffers the most ignominious death in the. In the <laughs> oh, Anakin, he's the traitor! Oh! He's the traitor! Oh! Anakin gets pushed out a window. <laughs> that, that is, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Why didn't he just slice somebody up? Did he ever. Did he fight anyone? Uh, he cut off Bob of Hits. Fe- Bob, oh, no, uh, Django Fett. Oh, yeah, head. he did, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I remember that now. Um, what was the one before that? Okay, uh, oh, sorry, other yeah. changes. R2-D2, you have to send me a picture. Um, right now. While oh, we're okay, well, you talk about uh, one of the other changes. The, the Obi-Wan, talk about that. Okay, Obi-Wan makes this kind of screeching... Oh, I, I can't remember what it sounds like in the original, but he makes a screeching noise, and all the, all the Tusken Raiders look around, and they go, Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. Better, better hide that out of here! Oh, 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 oh. In, the, in the theatrical release, he made a yep. kind of a, um, a sound that other animals were making... In the movie, yeah, I like I, I it's just, really a, it was just it a sort of a Tatooine but... monster noise, like that. I can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, more like, 
<laughs> yeah, a bit like that. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I did the first time, and then you told me it was wrong. Anyway, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I know, I know you went. Um, then in 1997, was it? <laughs> was it 1997? 90, no, no, when 97 they, it was the same. In the 2004 DVD, they changed it to this whistle DVD. sound. Um, I have whistle that sound? One. It's sort of like a... Ooh, it's all like a sound. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so now in the 2011 Blu ray DVD release, uh, <laughs> Blu ray DVD release, Blu ray release, well, it now what? makes this weird sound. Um, Blu ray to DVD. Is there, you can, is there some way you can play it or no? Uh, if you give me a second, I can put it in a garage band. Um, I Look, think I might be able to actually. People, people know, and the DVD um, will be out soon. So, I mean. Okay, I- fine. But in later podcasts, I want to be. Uh, we will have a way to like we'll play sound. I might just buy well, sound. I, I will anyway. I don't yeah. want Scotty to. <laughs> no, we both will. Um, I just sent you a link on MSN. Did you get it? Okay. Yep. You're gonna, um, get, you're gonna get David's instantaneous reaction to this uh, R2D2 JPEG. 2004 HDTV. Blue. Look at the Blu-ray ones. Rocks appearing. Doesn't this look dodgy to you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, the, what? The, now the thing is, you, you can't really see here, but in motion, the rocks like don't account for the changing camera angles or anything. And that sometimes they're what? there and sometimes they're not, or some shit like that. I, I can't really describe it. What I want to know is how did R2 get in that hole? <laughs> the rocks were there. <laughs> how did he even get in there? There's rocks in the way. No, it's a holographic disguise. Don't... <laughs> no, I don't know. You I... know, I, you know, if he did, th- I wouldn't be surprised. Why does he just it use? It looks his... so blurry and out of place that it might be a hologram. Why didn't he just use his jetpack to get away? Yeah, why don't you just spray them all with oil and then set them on fire? Yeah, what the fuck? Jeez. He's- you know you know what burns really well? <laughs> Jowers. <laughs> desert people. Uh, people who live in the desert who wear robes. And we'll leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> I, um, yeah, what are you yeah. getting at, Scotty? <laughs> I don't know what you're implying, but... Um, <laughs> Libby. Okay, that's ridiculous. Um, uh, anyway, the, uh, the rock um, in front of him in the close-up is like... It looks like it was enlarged in Photoshop. It does. It, it was probably fuck. Photoshop actually came about. It's like the, the invention of the brother of the guy who, who did a lot of the effects for the prequel trilogy. So they're all in a big family together. I don't. <laughs> What's his name? Thomas Knoll. You know that confusing. It that that confusing. That change is even more confusing to me than the other ones. Speaking of the that other ones, David, shall we, shall we anyway, jump ahead okay. to the one that's the, the, the big ticket item? <laughs> well, no, we haven't done the Obi Wan yet. Um, okay. So yeah, anyway, he did. made like a normal. Note. No, 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 we haven't. Okay, come and on. And now he makes a wow. I posted that's a comment. The noise you uh, it was a YouTube video of this Obi Wan scream, and I posted a comment that said, "This is the sound Lucas makes when Spielberg penetrates him," and I actually got a few thumbs up for that. Ah! Mainly it's because I'm probably it's something accurate. stupid like that. It's kind of like a squealing uh, Woo! person. Woo! Yeah, okay, like let's that. stop making stupid noises. Um, we could, so yeah, that's we could get a job working on the special edition films. We could. Yeah, we. Okay. Uh, so the stupidest change probably oh, is uh, in episode six, Return of the Jedi, the uh, Muppet film, yeah. where. The Emperor is zapping Luke, and Luke, uh, the Emperor <laughs> goes, Ah, oh, you will die. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then Luke goes, No, no, no! Father, please! I find the bottom left! And then uh, Darth Vader kind of looks <clears throat> around, he's like, Hmm. Oh, what um, am I going to do? Uh, this, I'm kind of uncomfortable right now. Is it hot in here? Or <laughs> is it just your burning flesh? <laughs> um... And then he decides, yeah, well, I'm just going to pick up the Emperor and throw him down the well. Why is there a big well there? I don't know. I like don't, a, it's it's um, a, some sort of throne room, right? Yeah. Why has he got big hole? Why has he got a big hole there? I don't know. We <laughs> anyway. Continue. In the new edition, I'm yep. sure everyone already knows this, so I don't really have to set it up. But <laughs> in the new edition, Darth Vader looks around. He looks at the Emperor, zapping his son. And he goes. No. <laughs> no. No. And then he picks up. Yep. What? Sorry, I was <laughs> I was trying to set up the top no. effect. <laughs> okay. And then he picks him up and throws him down. He goes, "No." <laughs> that really that really makes no sense to me. The one thing the one reason I can think for Lucas to do this is because 
he thinks that people don't understand that Darth Vader's annoyed. Apparently him picking up the Emperor and throwing him down the well is not indicative enough of his uh, mood. Of his of his current malaise. Yeah, it's, um... I don't know. It's, it's, I'm... I seriously think Lucas has fucking lost his mind. I'm really annoyed at George Lucas. I, should, I, I shouldn't be. I mean, I've got... I, I probably could find the original somewhere. Well, you know... But there's just no point. And George Lucas was a guy who was like... He was making speeches and stuff about preserving movies and shit, wasn't he? I've been reading a lot of those speeches, and I think they are genuine, the, too. Yeah. Um, I think it was more... I read one. I think it was more kind of talking about uh, other people changing other people's works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, he never sort of said it's not good for directors to change their own films. He just thinks it's bad for he other never people. Said, yeah, he never said that uh, it was uh, bad for him, him to fuck up his own oh, geez. film. He's a fucking... But anyway, yeah. That's, he's a, that's he's, he really is a maggot, you know. Uh, what I said was he has the, he has a hundred times less... No, wait. What did I say? Um, I wasn't listening. Sorry. No, no, what, what are you talking about? I can't write. I, I said something and I thought it was funny. And now I'm trying to repeat it, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> oh, <that's- laughs> Blockbuster entertainment right here. Oh, I said this oh, funny Peter thing. has ten times the grasp on reality that George Lucas has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe is what... Is something like that. Um, yeah, Molyneux sorry, is an easy man to compare with Lucas, I think. Yeah, he's one of those people who just um, has no grasp in reality. He doesn't yeah. understand what people are talking, are saying. He doesn't understand what he should be doing and against what he is doing. I mean, I'll be honest. I actually saw the first time I saw that Darth Vader clip. I thought it was fake. I thought it was very poorly done. Like the, the, the audio mixing was sort of like this podcast. It was just very unprofessional. Just like the levels yeah. were all over the place. Yeah. Uh, with no consideration for the context of the scene or anything. It doesn't sound like Darth Vader in other parts of the film. It just sounds like shit. I thought, oh, sorry, somebody's pulling my leg. And then a couple of days later, it's fucking confirmed. Yeah, uh, from what I can... Uh, from what I've heard, other people thought it was fake as well. I think pretty much everyone thought it was fake because it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean... Okay, anyway. I, I don't want to talk about this for the rest of the... <laughs> I know, but... Uh- <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Didn't doesn't he no. know? Doesn't he know how people reacted to the first no? Didn't he know Darth how Vader people did? reacted to the fucking prequels? Uh, but I don't know. Does, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was stopped after episode one. <laughs> <laughs> Seems ridiculous. Oh Jesus! I don't know. It, it, I just wouldn't mind so much, but he has such a fuck you attitude to people who just want to see the proper films. Like the actual movies, like yeah, it doesn't like you said, like he did put the originals out on DVD a few years ago, but it, that was such a dick move. He put them out in like laser disc quality. Yeah, and um, but yeah. is there a reason you can't up the quality of the thing and just leave it the way it is? No, no he's a dick. He's a mega dick. And the thing is, the things that he's adding aren't Blu-ray quality anyway. <laughs> 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 Might as well be watching on VHS. <laughs> um, you know those earrings that people get? Oh, the, okay. uh, the big plastic ones that, like, stretch the earlobe out? Oh, I fucking hate people. Well, I don't hate people who wear them, but I hate looking at them. I don't know. I think I hate people who wear them. <laughs> 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 because there are always young people, like, tw- 25 and under. Yeah. I'd say. If at any point in your life you want to get a normal job <laughs> and you don't want to wear those earrings, <laughs> you're going to look like a fucking idiot. I just hate you're have. Look- Skin just flapping down around your ears. Is I that, just what? I just hate the back. I hate the flesh I hate the flesh coloured ones because they look gross. Like they look like they would smell bad after he pulls them out or whatever. They always look like they smell they, bad. They just they're, and they're yeah. You, awful. What happens when you pull them out? I've never seen someone pull them out. Is it just uh, like a hanging like spaghetti string of skin or what? You'd hope it would heal eventually or something. Yeah, you'd hope so, but. Uh, I, you know, I I'm, know. I'm somewhere in the middle. I mean, I, I'm all for people who modify their bodies and stuff, but I personally think those ear things are just gross. That's just ridiculous. It's like deforming your body. It's not like altering. Uh, I don't know. It's just weird. If you ever want to get an office job, you're going to look like an idiot. 
you know, dress up in your suit and you, you know, comb your hair and get get a little tie on action in there. And then Take go in your there. earrings and you're gonna have floppy little ears. <laughs> And nobody's going to want to hire you. <laughs> and David's all for discrimination. <laughs> I am, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, um, my next topic was Mexicans, but you kind of just overrode that. Um, how? <laughs> no, oh, I'm right. kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to talk about how Mexicans smell like beans. And then you, just, oh, then okay. you accused me of being racist, and now I can't do it. So. We're going to get sued. By, what, by Mexicans? <laughs> they're, they're, they're too lazy to sue us. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm so bad. Man, you are so inappropriate. I'm ashamed to know you. Yeah, what was the last film you saw? Um, the last film I saw... Uh, what, in the cinema? In cinemas. In cinemas. Uh, a Razorhead. What? Uh, I saw A Razorhead at, Luna, at the Luna thing in Leaderville. I the had to leave. Razor head? It's a David Lynch film. I had to leave early because the place was filled with hipsters. Oh yeah, this, well you're at. This wasn't you're one at hip- Luna Cinemas, and you're watching it. <laughs> this was not one film hipster that I've never heard of. trying to hog a hog a few seats to himself and his imaginary friends. This was a oh, cinema full of them. And this I, is I, actually one hipster hogging all the. <laughs> I had to fucking get Hugging out of there. With no, all this, his real hipster friends. I had to just fuck off and just go because it's yeah. No, but that and I had a huge headache as well. That didn't help. Was it a good film? A Razor Head. Shorter yeah. than I expected. You watch it and you think it's going to be one of these three-hour movies, and actually it was maybe an hour long. I can't tell. I haven't checked yet. Actually, you can you can investigate for me. I don't want to investigate for you. Well, yeah, you can Google it while I talk about my experience. Um, I went there with oh, my friend okay. Alana. Um. Yeah, this was an alright film, actually. I thought the baby thing looked really gross. Um, the baby 1977. Ladies. Yeah. Of course it's full of hipsters. No, no, not the film, the cinema. What? Yeah, I know, I know. Are you saying hipsters are the only people who know how to appreciate old films? That's stupid. They're the only, one, they're the only ones that go out to a cinema and watch them. Oh, right. Especially lunar cinemas. Well, I... <laughs> um, there's 85 minutes, so it's kind of a normal film. Keep calling me a hipster. 85 minutes is normal. <laughs> nah, 85 minutes is pretty short for a film. Nah, okay. It felt short, I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Um, I, I was talking about film because I, I went to see uh, Planet of the Apes oh, about a week or two no. ago. Oh, God, not that fucking movie. You, you did see that, didn't you? you Rise, saw of, Rise of, it? of the Planet of the Apes? Of the, of the? Well, yeah, yeah, Rise of the Planet. I didn't go see Planet of the Apes in a cinema full of hipsters. You saw, you saw James Franco staggering around aimlessly in a CG wonderland. <laughs> yeah, I think the the, uh, the monkeys were the best actors in that. You better get the pros out of the way because we got a lot of cons to discuss. <laughs> uh, okay, Andy Serkis is better than James Franco at acting. Yes, yes, at acting. He yeah. might not be better at some other well, things. Yeah, I mean, I reckon uh, he's probably better at a lot of things. I reckon James Franco could probably beat him at like bench pressing or something like that. Maybe he could. Uh, Cluedo. I, I reckon James. I reckon James Franco could bench press. Uh, 12 monkeys <laughs> yeah um what else what else is good about the film jo- John Lithgow oh John Lithgow is a uh, very his fa- good his face is pretty funny uh, I'm sure he's uh, kind of annoyed that he's uh, slipped into the Alzheimer's old crazy Alzheimer's grandpa like portion <laughs> of his career I never used to fit into this niche before <laughs> yeah you never want to I mean eventually I guess you want to go there but you know <laughs> it's a sad day <laughs> it's a very sad day. Yeah, um, could, have, could so, have been Shatner. I don't know. Overall, I kind of I thought it was alright. Yeah. I thought it was terrible. I thought no, I'm, I'm I don't want to trot on anyone's love of the film here, but I thought I hey, could did, have been. Did, I thought you saw you, it on the TV, right? If you took well, if you took the apes out of it, you could have been watching any film. It could have been Hollow Man or any any film with the sort of a laboratory experiment gone wrong theme made in the past twenty years swapping out the apes for whatever else has been invented like invisibility in the case of Hollow Man or that Indian girl who was going out with James Franco she didn't do anything in the whole film her one she was pointless her, yeah. one, she, uh, her, her one purpose in the film was to, dis- to distract some people who were on the bridge with some soldiers or whatever she argued with James Franco about uh, using the stuff on John Lithgow and then she distracted some policemen and that was about it. Yeah, if you ask me, that's, that's so, a lot so of... So that James Franco could run down the bridge and do nothing. That's not a lot of <laughs> character significance, really. Yeah, James Franco actually ran down the bridge and just did absolutely nothing. He just watched all the monkeys mm. do their thing. And, you know, it's it's far too late in the... In the uh, what do you call it? 
It's far too late for us to be shitting on CG in movies, because the point is they're all doing it now. And some of it looks alright. But they use it to try and do things that look shit, because they just wouldn't happen. Like, things that defy physics and look bad. It's like that... I've probably bitched about this before, but that shot of Legolas hopping onto the horse from front. I don't think you have on our channel. Oh, well, fuck me. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. That was ridiculous. But that was from 2000... What? Three? 2002. But they're still doing that, though. That's just an example. That's just an example. Well, it's better nowadays, but... Not yeah. really. Um, I, I reckon if I, could, if I sit you down with a copy, of you, a copy of that Apes film, I could find some similar shit happening, because it was, yeah. Some of, some the, of the thing Apes about the Apes cool, film, The thing about the CG in that was that a lot of the monkeys were doing stuff that monkeys don't usually do. Well, yeah, that's kind so of So it just thing. looks weird. CG characters Although in some general... Of the, some, of they... the swinging around of the, some of the swinging around of the house with the monkey would just look stupid. Yeah. It looked like it was made of air. Yeah. And, yeah, but... I just... With CG acting, so-called, you know, when they they try and get expressions on the things, they all pull the same face. Yeah. Somebody pointed out, um, by... When they were talking about the Blu-ray Yoda that's been done, they were talking about how they all look angry now, they all have to go look this gruff, sort of angry CG face, and they all pull the same fucking expression... They do, yeah. And uh, Andy Serkis's monkey, even though they had him doing the thing, it, it still kind of looked about that, like like looked like that around the eyes. Anyway, I don't know. I wanted to like it more because uh, Andy Serkis was in it, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was an average. It was an average film. I just think you know CG is a waste of time. <laughs> you look at Yoda as a puppet, and then um, Audrey too from uh, Little Shop of Horrors, and there's like there's no computer animation there, and they're better. Oh yeah, the Yoda puppet's much better than the CG, obviously. It was like, why do you bother? Why do you, this whole industry has risen up around a, a largely pointless kind of uh, what do you call it? Effect, um, visual effect. I don't know. Yeah. It's just, I just yeah, it's crap. <laughs> I, I, I've got notes here for the podcast, and I put down elevators and pants, and I, I don't know what that means. Elevators and pants. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine what that means? You were in an elevator and something happened involving I'm pants? I'm guessing or? I was in an elevator probably at work. How could you forget something like that? Elevators <laughs> and pants. I, I have no idea what that means. That sounds like something memorable. I mean, if something happened... It really does. Okay, I'm just going to say that uh, I thought... <laughs> I thought of a new invention. Elevators should have pants because they get cold. <laughs> and it's kind of weird that if you're standing in an elevator shaft and you're looking up at the elevator, you can see right up at stuff. Oh, David. <laughs> and they should really wear pants. All right, next That's topic. All I'm going to say next, about that. <laughs> next topic going to be one of yours or one of mine. You can have. You can bring something up. All right. Um, this is a very fleet, this is this uh, is a this is a short conversation. this is a short topic. Um, just more or less our um, me and David just uh, talking about how we're upset about something that shouldn't happen. Uh, the people that did La Noir are shutting down. Yeah, oh. uh, Team Bondi in Australia is shutting down. Did it make that little I, money or? It did cost a lot of money, oh. as far as I know. Yeah, but it cost a sh- it cost a shitload of money because they needed all those actors, and they weren't very they were, they're not huge actors, but they're all from America, I guess. And, yeah, but you bought a copy, um, didn't you? Well, yeah, I bought a copy, but that doesn't make <laughs> that yeah, doesn't but, mean that it. My uh, point is, was if, a commercial if, you, success. if we're paying for a copy of something, then it's got to be doing well because we usually don't bother buying games. <laughs> well, I do if it's good and it's on the Xbox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's annoying though because that's another. I don't know how many game studios there are in Australia, but there's not many, and yeah. they're kind of dwindling. Which pisses me off because I eventually want to get into games, whether well, it be 3D it, animation or something like that. It's not something that's as subsidised as it is in other countries, is it? Like I think I read that. I was reading about the L.A. Noir thing. Apparently, I think in Canada, they some of their budget gets provided by the government. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, did I say an awful? Who gives a fuck? You actually really? did say Canadian. That, that, that's all right. <laughs> fuck. I'll, I'll forgive you this time, Scotty. Scotty, I'll forgive you this time, eh? <laughs> fuck off. I don't care if you forgive don't worry me. About it. I'm leaving. <laughs> no, come back. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, anyway, okay. <laughs> that's not a big. That's not a big story. But I just I don't quite yeah, get what they're shutting down. Hmm? It's a uh, filming. And what, do you know when Mad Men's coming? Sorry, what? Do you know when Mad Men is? Oh, coming Oh, Mad back? Men. Um, January, isn't it? January. I thought you said Jones? it was. You said it was airing in January. Don't fucking ask me. Oh, I don't remember. Oh. When did I say that? In an email or something. 
Yeah, so I don't know. Poor old yeah, Team well. Bondi. That just leaves one a niche for David to fill as an Australian game developer in the making. I don't. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any other Australian game developers. Uh, I think years ago that there was a company that made something called Power Slide. Um, a Power Slide was that Australian? Yeah, I think that was a. I think it was Australian. You can Google that if you want. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to Google. I don't mean you personally. I, I mean anybody listening to this because I I don't know. I, <laughs> you have to correct me. <laughs> I'm looking on Reddit and there's a picture of uh, <laughs> two. Sorry, there's two African American runners and they both got like those. You know those uh, artificial legs. <laughs> they kind of look like hockey sticks. Like the big black, like uh, the running hockey stick kind of like. Yeah, yeah. This is nothing bad, Scotty. It's just one of them is helping the other one up and it looks funny. Okay, just, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I'll send you the picture to make you laugh. Is- <laughs> while you're trying to talk. No comment. Ah, oh, here it comes. Yeah. You should uh, just still look at that. Oh, you wow. That picture. Ugh, that's revolting. Why is it revolting? Look at them. Oh, I, I just hate stumps. Stumps are awful. I'd be really upset if I had to have like my leg cut off. Well, you don't. You don't have to look at it. When's the next you Olympics? You just have to know it's there. Don't, what? When's the next Olympics? 2012, London. Oh, next year. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I can't. I can, <laughs> oh, I'll stop lying. I don't really I care about more, the Olympics. I want more riots. I don't give. I don't give two shits about the Olympics, really. I want oh, no, more riots to come to the Olympics. They're marginally less pointless than the Tour de France. Marginally less. Well, they I, have I fencing. Like the Olympics. They have I fencing. Like the Olympics when they're archery. Um, fencing and the Olympics archery. Olympics are cool. Sorry. The Olympics are cool. I like the Olympics. <laughs> Sorry, did I upset I you? I like watching the Olympics. <laughs> uh, yeah, our Olympics are pretty awesome. I like all of them. Like no, 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 our Olympics, remember? Okay. They were pretty good. Yeah, the little, I remember. Them. They had, uh, what, what's her name? Them. Nikki Webster. <laughs> Nikki Webster. <laughs> She's got some tits now. <laughs> she grew up nice. How old was she back then? Like 12 or something? Uh, 10, 12, she, I don't know. I think she her, might be my age. What was her big song? 10. Strawberry Kisses. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a euphemism for uh, kiss, uh Cunnilingus during period. Wasn't it? I've been kiss- missing the strawberry kisses. Something like that. That's exactly what it was. She was a talented I knew young girl. you knew that song, Scotty. Yeah, I danced to it. I've no, been trying for years to make you minute. sing that song. And look up just- Nikki Webster. Here we go. Okay, you Let's do see, I'm going to see if she yeah. grew up nice. She did. Did she? I'm telling you she did. Oh, she grew Jesus. Up nice look at her. Wow. Like- I'm on Google Images right now. And, uh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, well, man. she kind of looks like a bit of a okay. bogan. Oh, of course she's a bogan. She's an Australian. <laughs> yeah. She's an Australian. Jesus, I bet she sees more traffic than the Channel Tunnel. Fucking hell. Do you think she grew up better than, um, <laughs> what, some of, uh, Scar- Scarlet Palmer's from Voyager? What? Are you kidding? No, no. I think, no, what? well. No, no, I think. What's her face? <laughs> Scarlet Palmer's. No, I reckon she was way hotter. Really? Is way hotter, rather. <laughs> really? Oh, no. really? Not past tense, because they got famous when she they were children. She was way hotter when she had those little ridges on her head, and she was This podcast has just been shut down. <laughs> Sitting right next to Seven and Nine, she just looks so fucking sexy. I think they. I think she grew up a lot nicer. No, oh, well, whatever. Really? No, oh, well, uh, no, I know. Uh, we'll discuss this later. I think... The opposite. Um, <laughs> You're speaking weird. Of, uh, speaking of Star Trek, because okay. that, that seems like a good uh, segue. Okay, sure. Let's go. Um, we were thinking, I was thinking, Scotty kind of wants to do it Oh, as well, is this an announcement? Because uh, I should really get some music going. Go on. Um, uh, wait a minute. I'm unimpressed by your punctuality. <laughs> Barry Denon Podcast News. That was loud. Okay. <laughs> Um, me and Scotty were thinking of doing a Star Trek podcast. <laughs> Once we actually figure out how to do podcasts um, efficiently and put them yeah. up on iTunes, yeah. Dedicated officially we to the thinking- topic of Star Trek. What? <laughs> we keep yeah. talking over each other. This is so unprofessional. Anyway, you yeah, continue. Talk about the premise. But, um, 
yeah, what we'll be doing is going through Star Trek from the beginning of TOS episode The Cage all the way through in chronological order of it being aired. And prequel. To th- <laughs> yeah, to the end of Star Trek so far, which would be uh, Star Trek Eleven, I guess. Oh yeah, last episode. Like, by the time we get there, we'll, there'll be more to look at, I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah, there'll be another movie by the time we get to the end. Yeah, I'd, I'd guess. And this is a big project because if we do about four episodes a week or something, four <laughs> that is so week, optimistic. <laughs> which is very optimistic. That's very optimistic. We'd be done in about. Two to three years. Yeah, so who knows what'll happen. <laughs> It'd be a big project, it would get lots of fans, and it would be good. But yeah, yeah you reckon, um, I reckon we would alienate more people than we would entertain, because my, my feelings about Star Trek aren't the most popular ones, i, I got to admit. Well, it's good to have some uh, varying opinions. Yeah. yeah. While we're discussing it. <laughs> but, you know, we both like Star Trek, and I assume we're both <laughs> now, like talking about it. We're trying to well. find a name for this podcast, so you guys can send us I've all of your suggestions. I've already found the name, Scotty. I've already found the name. Oh, what's the name? The Dominion Podcast? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not telling me it? It's actually called Jim Hadar Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Um, me and David. I don't know if David actually has a name yet, but we were talking about it on MSN, and um, I, was, I sort of said to him, "The Dominion Podcast is a joke," and he's like, "What? No." Um, <laughs> so I like to bring that up every now and then. Unification? No, I don't know. It hasn't got a but name no, yet. What I wanted is some uh, feedback from people, because if you're going to send us feedback for this episode, I'd like to see hear feedback for the uh, idea of we'll the Star just, Trek podcast. We we'll just call it the USS Barry Denon. 12. I don't want to do that. The NCC buried... <laughs> no. No. <sighs> I'm I'll, I'll go NX buried in because Fuck, we I, like Enterprise more than... I will tears. let you pick the name. I don't want to actually... You know, it's your... It's, it's the whole podcast department is sort of David's department. It's like Harry Crane's te- television Good. department. It, it, it's Madden. kind of fallen into your lap most of the time, but um, yeah. What? No, just the uploading. Just the uploading and the uh, editing and... I, well, yeah, but everything. Uh, <laughs> no, there's no sentence coming there. <laughs> uh, uh, I like I like a song to have a basic skeleton. Then, uh, <laughs> okay. No, no, Wait. stop. <laughs> you, you can introduce it because I don't know how you want to introduce it. Oh, look. Okay, fine. Well, me and David were talking about reading out favorite selections of fan fiction on this on this podcast from time to time um i don't know a lot of fan fiction but there is this one piece that we found out about um around the time the halo 2 came out and, I, and uh it's called uh cortana gets her comeuppance and the synopsis reads Come cortana- spelled c-u-m yeah u-p-p-a-n-s <laughs> no, i'm sorry c-e and the, the synopsis reads cortana discovers it's not wise to piss off the covenant and pays the price with a capital p and um, I'm just scrolling down. I, I think we found this by Googling fuck Cortana with quotation marks around it to, to try, you know, narrow it down. Seems, it seems like a reasonable thing to look for. Well, it was funny. And, and this is what we got. We're awarded. So I don't know. Do you want to read a bit of it? Yeah, sure. I'll start it off. Go for it. Cortana opened her eyes and blinked twice in succession. She was laying face down on the floor. She put her hands out in front of her and pushed herself up off the ground and onto her feet. She looked, ac- <laughs> she looked around the room. It was a black void with white light spot in the center where she was standing. Beyond that, nothing but endless blackness. That's terrible writing. <laughs> Sorry. Endless blackness is just sounds stupid. <laughs> It only, took, it only took Cortana a minute to realize she was in a virtual construct. What happened? Where was she? Last think she remembered she was with the chief inside the long sword fighter. And she had, had warned the chief that she had detected an outside attempt to access her program. Oh, no. Someone had downloaded her right out of the chief. Oh, fuck, I hate she it when closed that her eyes and attempted to <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? She closed her eyes and attempted to access the simulation. Nothing. She couldn't access anything. This worried her as she was specifically made to hack into foreign systems. Uh, you go. Oh, is it, you want me to do the voice? Yep. I see you're finally back online. Your program got scrambled slightly in the download and we had to recompile you. <laughs> <laughs> Cortana spun to see a Covenant Elite standing a few f- feet away from her, leaning up against a wall. She was able to d- determine he was being projected from outside the simulation. <laughs> oh, am I, go- am I talking you, Cortana? You've got to do Cortana's voice, yeah. I assume I had you to thank for stealing my program. 
asked Cortana, <laughs> placing her hands on her hips. Well, you sound pretty sexy. Is that almost as hot as Jen well, Taylor? Well, I think I am as sexy as Jen Taylor. I Dearly actually nodded. I would seriously enjoy Jen Taylor's company. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Although, by extension, you just uh, said that you would enjoy my company. Uh, the elite <laughs> nodded. I do enjoy your company. The Sorry. elite nodded. <laughs> No, That's you destroyed our holy yeah. relic and obliterated an entire fleet. It's not wise to piss off the Covenant. Now, in, in any part of Halo, have they ever used colloquialisms like that? They've... no. Okay, continue. Um, no. <laughs> oh, and what do you plan to do? Delete me? I'm not afraid of dying. No, something much worse. <laughs> Cortana didn't see the pair of tentacles rise from the floor in a preoccupation with the elite. They rose up to knee height and with a single snake like lightning fast movement shot up and wrapped around her wrists. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> shouted Cortana. <laughs> <laughs> the tentacles drew taut taut, I uh, assume it meant, and begin to began to pull Cortana down to the floor. She managed to fight them and stay upright for a few seconds before they overpowered her and pulled her down onto her hands and knees. You you think you're a tough bitch after you'd ruined our plans on Halo, don't you? <laughs> Said the elite as he stepped in front of Cortana. Well, we're going to make you pay. <laughs> this is humiliating, but as an AI, I have no sense of tactile feeling, so trying to torture me is a futile exercise. You've drawn quite a crowd. No, um, what's he say? We made this program specifically for you. We thought of that and other problems. Said the elite with with snarl. <laughs> Cortana watched as a red tentacle rose from the floor in front of her. It took her a moment to figure out why it was red. It contained invasive viral uh. code. <laughs> it was her antivirus warning systems that were making it red. A warning. Within a single quick movement, the tentacle forced its way into her mouth and reached the back of her throat and began thrusting back and forth in her mouth. Uh. Even though she couldn't feel the tentacle, it was still humiliating, and she had, she had a worse problem. Whatever virus was in the tentacle couldn't be good. This is terrible, I gotta say. And the next line is pretty good. Okay. Get ready for the surprise, bitch. <laughs> Said the elite as he crouched down beside her. Now, we didn't make this up. <coughs> this is on the internet no, no, for anybody no. to Google. This has been on the internet for years. Yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't been... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Struck gold. Suddenly, the massive tentacle came in the back of her throat, releasing a massive <laughs> wad of gum into the back of her throat. Into the back of her <laughs> that's throat. How it's, that's, how, that's how it's uh, written. The virus has been uploaded. Foreign symbols appeared on her body as, as the viral covenant code intermixed with hers. Suddenly, she could feel it. The cum running down her throat. The massive cockhead shape of the tentacle in the back of her throat. Her ass, her pussy, her breasts. She could feel all of them. <laughs> Her eyes went wide from the shock of all, all these new sensations. Who wrote this? I don't know if I can read this anymore. <laughs> How does an elite drop his armour? <laughs> oh, the elite stepped b behind her and dropped the lower part of his armour. <laughs> it's not like he's wearing jeans or something. It should be noted that they wear like a one-piece kind of latex <laughs> kind of thing. All, all around their body. They don't, I don't think they can drop their armour like that. This is terrible. Cortana managed to get a look behind her. The elite's cock was noticeably longer and wider than the hum than a human's. She didn't know if that was real or part of the program, or if she even really had those. Or if they even ha even really had those, sorry. The elite rubbed the tip of his dick along the edge of Cortana's purple pussy and looked up and snarled. <laughs> oh, by the way, we also programmed this to be extremely painful for you. And painful for you, just like real-time human sex. Oh, first time human sex. Even more so, actually. But don't worry, we've had a pleasure as well. See, I didn't- I don't really see how this fits into the Halo canon, I gotta say. Uh, you don't? No. Those are good. They really did program the virus to make you tight. <laughs> I don't know if we can keep reading this. Yeah, this is getting quite inappropriate. We'll just read my fa <laughs> favorite quotes. Yeah, okay. okay. Ugh, I'm gonna come all over you, you purple whore. <laughs> Gotta time this just right. <laughs> Your punishment isn't even close to over, bitch. Now shut up and take it. I like it how he calls her a purple whore, though. Oh, well, she is. You're a <laughs> flexible little bitch, aren't you? Like a collapsible lawn chair. <laughs> how does a Covenant soldier know what a flexible lawn chair no, <laughs> Like what a, a collapsible, collapsible lawn, chair. lawn chair is. You don't think they have lawn chairs? <laughs> you don't think the Covenant have lawns? There is no way in hell that this thing can fit, said Cortana, desperately hoping to stop what was about to happen next. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, the, anyway, hunter, the hunter tried to enter Cortana's ass with his massive dick. 
<laughs> what kind of fucking awful person <laughs> thinks about a hunter getting up Cortana's ass? Don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, hunter. Uh, great, she's a fucking vice. <laughs> I'm gonna blow soon. Hear that, bitch? <laughs> the hunter. Be- the hunter began slowly going to work on Cortana. Oh Jesus! The hunter grunted with pleasure as he continued to push Cortana along the floor. Woo! You're a great fuck, Cortana. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more thing I want to try. I believe humans call it a gangbang," said the elite. <laughs> In any case, this is uh... <laughs> shit. I forgot we need one more for your back door. <laughs> this is a ridiculous fan fiction, so I suggest everyone read it. Watch your tongue, many- bitch! Make me come! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it turns out at the end of the story... <laughs> this is how we found it on Google. Who you're a great fuck, Cortana, said the elite as he uncuffed her arms. Now, that fuck Cortana was the thing that, you know... Yeah, that was the real catalyst to our uh, amazing discovery. Hmm. The once mighty Cortana, now reduced to our personal fuck toy. <laughs> you know what you should get? Uh, no. You know what you should get, Scotty? A life? No, you should get StarCraft 2 again. Oh, fuck. Because it's a fun game. It's still on my desk, actually, the, the DVD you brought over, but um, I, oh, uh, but I, 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 my trial ran out or something. Look, it's a fun game, and you should play it, because it's thing like that Warcraft, I, but... The thing that I do it. like about this fan fiction is that, unlike your average <laughs> porno, pornographic uh, literature, like film yeah. or whatever, it actually resolves the plot. After Cortana's covered in covered in cum and she's in the chamber there, and the, the elite leaves the chamber, and he actually talks to the monitor, who, it turns out, is the guy that sprung this... This uh, evil plot for revenge. I am three four three guilty spark. I just made my covenant. Fuck Cortana in several holes. It, it kind of fits. Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems reasonable. That's actually uh, pretty close to uh, canon. Seems reasonable. How do you pronounce canon? Is it canon? I just say canon. Fuck it. Who cares? I like saying canon. All right, David. Who's next for the topic? You or me? Yeah, go on. Cloud computing. <laughs> Ah, oh, what about... <laughs> this no, is not- okay, I guess this links a bit to uh, Steve Jobs leaving, right? Uh, it could. Uh, which, hang on. Barry Denon, technology news. Oh, baby. We're back. Okay. Technology. <laughs> the future. <laughs> All right, I just, I just need to get this it's off now. my chest. Okay, re- okay, go for, on. Go for on. a lot of uh, computery related news, I read this site called Gizmodo. And it seems every tenth article or so relates back to something to do with cloud computing. And I just want to say, fuck you to anybody who is, like, actively pushing to get this to be something that's, you know, popular. For several reasons. It's a stupid term for something that we've technically already been doing for a while. Right? Yeah. The cloud. Fuck you! (laughs) Um, Fuck you for calling it the cloud. It's such a so yeah. So what's your <sighs> real concern with it? Well, it just doesn't strike me as something that would work very well in Australia for, for uh, bandwidth reasons. For one thing, our internet's shit. I mean, why would I? Why would I fucking want online storage for all my shit? I mean, okay, it might be convenient being being able to get at it from certain places, but it wouldn't really because the internet's so awful here. Mm. And I I love having a little USB in my pocket anyway. Yeah, I hear thing. a lot about cloud computing and stuff because I listen to a few uh, and secondly tech, techish podcasts. But yeah, go on. Yeah. for security and stuff, it can't be that good an idea. I mean, you can't you can't tell me that it'd be a safe way to do things because stuff like that's getting broken all the time. <laughs> yeah, PlayStation Network got hacked and shit got leaked. It just it's it looks it looks to me to be a retarded push towards something where you really don't need to need. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Um, I don't know. That's just how I feel, and I hate the term yeah. as well. I, <laughs> cloud computing, yeah. clown computing. It's like that's what I clown, com- more like it, cloud computing. It yeah. fucking is, yeah. Really, I, I think it's stupid. I mean, somebody who maybe knows a lot about it could possibly try and convince me otherwise. But I think, uh, I think I'm on the money here. No, I don't think so. Okay, no, I um, think I am on the money. I, 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 I've called it before with technology stuff. I said the cube would be a flop. Remember the Apple computer? No, no. Sorry, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if I actually said this properly, but I mean, people probably couldn't convince us that it's a good idea. Oh right. 
Okay. That's what I meant. Oh, I thought you were I saying I was, I was full I of shit. I think I blanked out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> David! David, are you there? <laughs> no, oh, I'm alright, I'm alright. Scotty, no, um, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, uh, I listen to a, a few tech-related podcasts, so I hear a, a bit about it. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it won't work in Australia because we have a lot of bandwidth caps. Mm. And the, in America, they get, they're starting to do this as well. Mm. They're starting to get bandwidth caps on, it, on their um, stuff. Really? Yeah, they are, actually. Um, a isn't lot that, of their ISPs are kind of pushing towards it. Isn't that taking a step backwards? It is. It's <laughs> taking a step forward in terms of profit. Oh, <laughs> right. As they've realised it's a, a money-making business model. It's, it's yeah, works, yeah. works in other places. Well, it um, works so yeah, in that's... foreign markets. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who uh, doesn't live in Australia, we've got bandwidth caps everywhere. Yeah. And I, especially for mobile stuff, like if I get a mobile phone, it, yeah. I'm going to have to pay a lot of money to get no cap on my thing. Mm. Like for some sort of contract to have no cap on my data transfer and stuff. Mm. Yeah. If I've got an iPhone or something. So I don't want to put all my music up in the cloud <laughs> because then every time I want to listen to music, which is all the time, I would have to pull it from the cloud and that would take a shitload of bandwidth. That's t- and it just and we I, can't do that. We can't do that in Australia. We can't I do it just, anywhere in the world. I, I hate the term. Oh, can we get it in the cloud? <laughs> fuck <do> you. <laughs> it just sounds like. Well, fuck. What? I don't know. Oh, I just I just pressed a button and some music came on. You wouldn't have heard it. Um, I did not hear it. Okay. Yeah. I um, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I the can, other thing that annoys me is that it doesn't. It doesn't have to happen. Yeah. I have plenty of, of space on my computer. Well, actually, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't earlier today. For some reason, I went from having around about 90 gigabytes to seven <laughs> this morning, and I was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> weren't doing it with the fraps, were you? Uh, not really, no. Because you should be. My fraps folder is only about two gigabytes at the moment. Yeah. There's lots of little videos. Well, anyway, I think I've gotten that off my chest. Uh... But, you know, I've got a shitload of memory on my i pod yep. and I've got a shitload of music and podcasts on there as well hmm any, any I don't room? see the I don't see the reason to have uh, all that stored in some sort of remote location because any... nobody's going to hack my iPod and get it all off there any room for us in your uh, podcast folder there David no <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> no speaking of which we will be put hopefully before we put this up we'll find a way to put it up on iTunes so oh really in fact I didn't think you were going to be doing it that soon. I'd like to. Uh, yeah. How, how many people actually I'm not listen doing to this? this weekend? Because it'd be good if we had it up somewhere. Because <laughs> we might be more able to register about what do you uh, monitor the traffic? Because with Mega Upload, you know, it doesn't say how many people have downloaded it. Yeah, there are ways to. Um, yeah. Like you put little scripts on it and stuff to I find just, out I, how many. I, people I get curious. It's not it. like YouTube where we can see how many people are watching something. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Well, we could ask everyone to go and post on the thing, but Steve Jobs. Not everyone's going to do that. Steve Jobs. What a uh, gangly little fucker. No, um, <laughs> gangly bonehead. <laughs> gangly bonehead. <laughs> no, he left. Well, that's weird. He left Apple. It, it's weird. Don't you think it's weird, Scotty? Not really, because I think. <laughs> I mean, not not based on his condition, because I know the, the two not weird that periods he's... of his greatest influence in Apple, right? Were f- yeah. First of all, when he made it, and back in the eighties, when he brought out the, the Mac and all that, that was a long time ago. So we're not really feeling the effect of that. And then his second period of real big influence is kind of, it was over already, really. Even uh, even even as a figurehead who who might be not doing that much stuff, he, he hasn't made that much of an impact lately. I mean, you, when you when you watch his iPad address, it was like I, I got the feeling he he didn't even think it was very impressive because he was just like eh, blah de blah de blah. Here we are again on the keynote. Blah, blah. Well, the iPod has been a lot more iPad. Sorry, the iPad's been a lot more successful than uh, I don't. I think anyone thought it would be. Yeah, but I uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be to be. To be <laughs> doesn't seem to be that he had that much to do with it. It's not a huge innovation anyway. It's like yeah. an iPod, but bigger. What's well, a t- tablet thing. They've been around for a while. Yeah, I suppose it was In, one of the first yeah. good ones, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the last big thing he did was really uh, the iPhone, I guess. Because that was, was a big change. That was like 2007 or 2006. I don't know. Was, was the, wasn't the iPhone pretty flaky for a while? 
No, I don't think so. I don't know. I, yeah, I remember. Everyone loved it from the start. I was reading. I just used to read feedback about it back in the back when it was new, and Thomas said back in the day, and it just sounded kind of crappy to me compared to other phones. I mean, now it seems alright. No, I think now there's the other kind of markets like Android and uh, Windows phones are becoming more popular. Really? Oh, fuck. Well, well. So I think I t- iPhones are actually going down in popularity, but oh, great! So I'm actually in reverse to the to the way things really are in the world. Oh, cool. Well, I mean, they're still the most popular phones, probably. But <laughs> in terms of, like, percentage of the market, there's oh, okay. more Android phones and stuff coming out now. Man, can you imagine an actual Android phone? Yeah, when I heard Android phone, I, th- I honestly thought that shit was going to do the washing for me. <laughs> I want a phone that can do my laundry. Um, it's just something that's been in the, in the, not the news, the media lately, that's really annoying me. Mm-hmm. is the preponderance of people saying that plus-size girls are now acceptable. I'm just going to send you a link to a Google image search. It's not unsafe for you to click on, put it that way. But is this an example of one of these one of these <laughs> girls that they're saying is plus-size, right? Have a look at her. She is tall. Does she really look like she's in plus of anything? She's tall. She doesn't... Hang on. I mean, I... Th- I, uh, for for anyone wanting to uh, see this, this is uh, Robin Lawley. That's R O B Y N. Robin Lawley. Lawley. Yeah. yeah, and um, it's mildly not self for work. I've got um, to tell you, I she doesn't... she's not plus size though. She's just tall. Yeah, she does not look like fat or anything. Which I... <laughs> has, she, has she been fat in any at any I point? Reckon, uh, where I'm going with this is, I reckon we should actually refer to skinny girls as minus and see how they like that. Minus size. I mean, you wouldn't get away with it, would you? No, I think you would. Uh, she's her thighs are a bit big in that one, but I, 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 get, I take real umbrage with the way people's body sizes get referred to because on the other side of the scales is the uh, <laughs> scales is um <laughs> the Fence. the reasoning that oh they, they they like to say oh these skinny girls aren't real women and I'm just thinking oh fuck can you imagine being a skinny girl hearing something like that you would get like really quite upset wouldn't you? Well, I think skinny girls should put some weight on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, no, that's that's up to you, to whatever. But I'm just saying, calling them not real women would be a bit of a fucking. If I can see more than six of your ribs, <laughs> then you should put some weight on. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not uh, a nice know. thing. <laughs> okay. It's not a nice thing to say to someone. It's to talk about their worth based on their their weight. I mean, you know, it's. Well, I'm not saying they're worth less. I'm just. <laughs> No, anyway, Never mind. This, this lady is not plus size. There are a few yeah, pictures where she looks slightly bigger than normal, like, yeah. uh, supermodel kind of people. I just think the whole plus, plus size label is pretty fucking stupid as it stands. That's just how I feel. Maybe if I saw her in person and, uh... Well, if I saw her in person, I'd buy her a cocktail. Fuck her, yeah, <laughs> no, I said... <laughs> Sorry, what, what did you say? I said I would buy her a cocktail. What did you say? I said I'd, uh, flirt with her. <laughs> You've got a girlfriend. Piss off. I was kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. As if this scenario is going to happen where David's going to snatch this plus size model away from me. <laughs> no, David, please. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Anything's possible. <laughs> Anything's possible. Uh, uh, okay. Do you want to n- nominate another topic or should I? You're a jerk. Because I've got a good one that's not really related, but it's pretty funny. I put down Sim Social. Uh, oh, I played you know, that for about five minutes and it was terrible. Oh. Is that the depth okay, of your review go, or do you want to give me some more insight? Play it, play it's it now. It's a Sims game on... Okay. I don't want to play right now. All right. It's a Sims game on Facebook, right? Wait a minute. And I, my internet was being a bit shitty, so what? I told you to do a video of this. Continue. Did I? Did... Yeah, I said make oh, a I video. I, anyway, all right. I decided on. not to. Um, <laughs> that, no, no, David, every time you decide not to make a video or something, it means I have to make a video, so stop doing that. Okay, continue. You never asked me to make a video of this anyway. I did. Um, I no, fucking did. Sims Social on Facebook, after about five minutes of making a... Like, I couldn't not make a hipster fucking Sim. <laughs> because all, all, since Sims 2, it's kind of hard to make a young person not look like a hipster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got your you got your fucking yeah. converses and your and your yeah. jeans and <clears throat> your, yeah, all that shit. And then it didn't work, so 
it, in actual fact, this story is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the game? I don't like it because it didn't work, yeah. <laughs> it didn't work, all right. Okay. And fine. I couldn't make anything that didn't look like a hipster and didn't look <laughs> stupidly cartoony, and it <laughs> just looked boring anyway. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I'm over The Sims. Unless they make another one that looks like Sims 2, then... Yeah. Well, well, works like Sims 2, rather. The thing about Sims 2 is it's a lot easier to make mutant faces. Like, there seems to be more limits on the faces you can do in Sims 3. They all look the same. I but love making s- mutant faces. In Sims great. 2, there was an exploit where you could move a slider all the way to one side and then sort of go out and then go back into it and it would be reset and you could keep going and, and make these really extreme faces. I've forgotten how to do it because I haven't had the game for a while, but... That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, what, what you would do is you'd put the slider up, then you go to a different body part and click one of the presets. Ah. And then you go back, and then this, all the slides are reset. Yeah. And you make these really insane-looking faces that are sort of cartoonish and awesome. I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. And well, they make really ugly babies, too. Oh, yeah. The baby comes out, it's just a giant nose. I know. I mean, that was that was cool. I want to be, In Sims 3, it's like they just homogenized it. And they all look like hipsters. I'm just throwing yeah. that on there for David. I don't, I don't like that. And this is the, welcome to the anti-hipster podcast. Harry <laughs> Dunn and Twelve would like to say they they are in full support of hipsters and they're all their friends. <laughs> sure, that's what we are. All right. <clears throat> um, uh, um, all right. Yep. Next topic. Here we go. David, get ready. I'm ready. Oh, One man can. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus, David! Fuck my intro. Why don't you? No, I didn't want that sound. Okay, Doing it. I didn't want that one either. Never mind. Um, one man can make a difference. <laughs> That's my headline. Uh, this is what, you know, uh, ABC has this channel on, on uh, YouTube where they upload parts from one of their from their uh, ABC Three stuff. Yes. And one of the shows that they upload uh, upload upload segments from is uh, called Good Game. Yes, it's a gaming show on the ABC yeah, Three. On ABC Three. Basically, they just review games and they kind of they're all cool, you know. I um yeah. I've been I was blocked from commenting uh, on on their videos because I, I I made sort of slightly amorous displays of uh, affection for the female host of the show. I don't know what her name is, but uh, um, oh fuck. I, I remember the name of the American guy who was on it, but who gives a fuck about him? Um, anyway, yeah, nobody gives a. <clears throat> And yeah, so anyway, I I, I you're making to, lots of rude comments on their. I had to use another YouTube profile page. to make those comments because uh, so my, you started making uh, you started harassing them from other. Not accounts, harassing. Yeah. I was just saying I'd really like to fuck her. Okay, yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that. And now the comments on those videos are all turned off. Now I'm not saying it's completely my doing, but it's it's kind of it nice like to it. think that I've gotten the comments switched off on those videos just by being my natural, charming self. That poor intern who uploads all the videos and <laughs> checks all the comments. Finally he's sitting enough. there late at night looking at the videos and going, Oh god, not, not again. this guy again. Who the fuck's Barry Denner? I have to make this fucking video you know, PC for all the people who are coming and watching it. And eventually he just gave up and he just started uploading them with no comments. Anyway, I would just want to say I'm kind of as, as well as amused, I'm a, I'm a bit annoyed that they turned off the commenting because I, I mean, I have a valid opinion and it's, I wanted to express my opinion and now I don't have a, a way of. <laughs> oh, you do. You've got a podcast. You've got a, you've got a YouTube yeah. channel. You've yeah, got very many hears ways. <laughs> nobody from the ABC hears it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> anyway, I, I really do quite fancy the uh, female host of Good Game and I think it's a damn shame that I'm not allowed to say so. I feel, I She's feel. She's pretty good. She's fucking hot. And I, I feel slightly... Uh, what do you call it? What's the... Miffed? What's the thing... What's that thing you put on a dog's mouth to stop it from making noises or biting people? Nerfed? <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Whatever that... Muzzle! Muzzle! <laughs> I was going to say nuzzled for some reason. <laughs> you feel slightly nuzzled. <laughs> nuzzled, nuzzled. No, no, I felt muzzled. Yeah. Okay. But, yep, I enough. mean, I'll get better. I'll get better. I can still watch we'll the videos. We'll all get better, Scotty. We're here for you. All right. We can David. heal together. Would you like to... Uh, she's fucking... Hang on, I'll look her up now. Um, she's... <laughs> pretty good yeah. images. Oh, man. What's her name? Uh, Find out her name. Okay, right I'm now. looking her up. What the fuck? I just want good game hosts. I just want... Good to- game hosts. ABC3. Look up ABC3. Who the fuck's junglist? Yeah, he was the American guy. Oh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Nobody. 
<laughs> so nobody gives a fuck. Oh, so when they're all saying bring back junglist, they were what were they suggesting? They get rid of the guy or the girl? I'm guessing they're suggesting get rid of the girl. Are they fucking retarded? Well, I don't know. The show was pretty good back then. How gay would you have to be to want to replace her with some fucking American guy? Yeah, I don't want to replace her with him, but no. I don't even know why he left. Why did he leave? I have sent you the cast page, David. You can find out for me what's going on here. Where? I'm missing. Didn't it work? No. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, her name's Stephanie. Hmm. Nice. Stephanie, that's a pretty good name. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're going to hop off this topic now because this is just wrong okay. all, all kinds Speaking of Speaking of uh, Australian bitches, you know that V chick? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> can you play a bit of the song? Can you figure that out for me? <laughs> I'll see if I can do that right now. <laughs> um, if, I, if I do that and record it, uh, you'll have to go into like crappy audio mode. <laughs> What do you mean? Because I'll be recording it and I'll be able to hear you at the same time. No. And I'll be recording you oh, at the well, same time. No, nah, we can just tell them where to look it up, I guess. Okay, fine. Or I could insert it later. Here, Here is an excerpt of the song. How about that? But we made a mistake And now we're both apart I know you feel it too Our love is still right there But I know what to do <laughs> Yeah, it turns out this, this lady on YouTube, this... Uh, Whore of a woman, <laughs> David. David, calm down. No, nah, she. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. Her name's a Vanessa. Wonderful I woman. think is it V or Vanessa? Uh, Vanessa. Oh, yeah, yeah. V for Vanessa is okay, her yep. YouTube channel. Yep. All right. Continue. It turns out that we have a uh, tenuous link with her. Oh I yeah, guess. yeah. She knows Chad, the guy in our band. Yeah, Chad, the uh, nice fellow who plays music with us sometimes. Uh, knew her in like high school or something, something like that. And um, <laughs> she's she's doing lots of local events. Like she had a, some sort of meetup where she got booed off stage. Oh yeah, I, I heard through the grapevine that she got booed at. Uh, maybe not booed off stage, but booed at rather at some event. And I I gotta t- I gotta tell you, I actually don't think that's very cool. I think you can do a lot of things to someone, but booing at them is not nice. Yeah, especially if they're just like a local person. Yeah, like I mean, she's shit. <laughs> well, I think we can all agree that she's shit. Oh, right, look, it, but that can't be helped. I mean, she, that doesn't take away her right to make music. I mean, my band's pretty awful, but fuck, we have the right to get up and have a go, don't we? Scotty, we're great. Did you hear that last video? I actually kind of liked our last gig, I'll be honest. It was our last good. gig was pretty fucking sweet. That's just how I feel. But I mean, some people don't want to hear that, do they? I mean, how would we react to them booing at us? It wouldn't be nice. How would we react to them booing at us? Fucking slags! <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> Get the fuck out of our pub! Um, um, s- something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, apparently... It's, it, I mean, you've heard yeah. her music now, so we can talk about this candidly. Apparently, she's serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I we thought she was serious. There was, we were holding out some hope that it might have been a fake or a hoax or something, but she's actually serious. And her Facebook page is full of people sort of taking the piss out of her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's sad. Whenever she posts something, everyone's like making jokey, jokey comments at her. And but again, I I can't help but wonder. This morning, she posted that she went and had a nice morning swim at Coleslaw Beach. Oh, and somebody else said. <laughs> somebody, somebody else said. Oh, what a coincidence! I just had a nice morning wank on Coleslaw Beach. <laughs> See, so, uh, how would we feel if people were doing that to us, man? Uh, I I don't know if I'd care. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, my, no, I don't know. I, we've both been on the internet for a long time. We've gone yeah. through many different communities. Yeah, yeah. I think we both kind of started. Well, I, I kind of started in the myth community more yeah. than anything. Then went on mm. to Bungie. Then went on to. Mm. Well, that was about it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is David's internet history. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I've had a lot of people say shit at me mm. through Bungie, through um, other things, just the internet in general. Yeah, and I, I don't really, I don't let it get to me. Yeah, I've been, I've been told many times that I'm a terrible moderator and I should stop moderating, and I'm too young to moderate. This is when I was 15, and people were telling me that I was too young and stupid to moderate. <laughs> 
I, obviously, I wasn't. I only became I was the stupid best. later and around about, year, around about 20 years old when I decided to, uh, I was too stupid to continue. <laughs> Sorry, I just but, started yeah. checking YouTube comments absentmindedly then. It's pretty good stuff. Um, you should do that. Read out the first one that you, we got. What? No, no, it was read, on my read channel. Out but YouTube I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read out an exchange. Okay, here we go. An exchange? It's, it's on the, where is it? Star Wars Blu-ray uh, chess set video there's a special feature about the chess set i went on well, there what about the, what i went on i went on this video and it said why doesn't he add subtitles to chewy and r2d2 while he's at it just as a joke there's no changes in this scene but i just sort of said that in frustration okay yeah. omega x warrior says to me zabonka that is the most stupid thing anyone could ever say that would just ruin the whole idea of star wars whole spell with a h it would be just like Frodo flying over Mount Doom to drop the ring in the fire on Lord of the Rings. It would just destroy the film minute. altogether. You are so dumb and thick. Sorry, what were you going to say? Well, the first thing that jumps out at me is that um, they should have just done that with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they had the eagles there. I don't know why that... Anyway, yeah, okay, the I, I responded the and I admit command. I may have gone a bit overboard. I said, you're a fucking retard if you think I was seriously suggesting it. All I'm saying is that he's added stupider things to the Blu-ray. Seriously. Vader shouting, no, no, while dunking the Emperor. How fucking dumb do you have to be? Omega X Warrior responds, Zabonka, get a job, you fag. And again, you should I, get it, Zabonka. You should really get a job. You fag. I've got a job. I play in a queen band. That's good money. Um, I said to him, I, I get paid enough drilling your fat fucking mum. <laughs> so, now, what I'm, I'm, I admit, I'm trying to figure out what his response means. It's, it's Zabonka. Do you have a chair I can borrow? Um, <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't get it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think. He, <laughs> is, he, is he baiting for a certain response so that he can shoot you down with a joke or what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed I, to go, no, why? And he says, because I want to sit in your fucking face. So, no, no I, don't, I don't know <laughs> what that's supposed to mean. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, you got a chair I can borrow? Get a, you, oh, ouch. Fuck. What, what, what'd you do? That's a gangster insult, that is, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm actually in pain. <laughs> it sounded like you it sounded serious. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh. No, I was playing sound so much sex tape. There's a bonkers sex tape. Um, all right. Yeah. That'd, yeah, that'd be a good topic, wouldn't it? Um, you know, if if I'm contacting my ISP because there's a problem with my internet, yep. and I end the email with, oh, by the way, if you have any jokes you can tell me, that'd be great. <laughs> Do you think they'll think the whole email is a, is a joke or what? You did this, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Did they give you any jokes? They haven't responded. Oh. Although my internet has gotten better. <laughs> the problem that I had for about two weeks is now gone. <laughs> you, were just, you were just trying to be that guy, weren't you? <laughs> that guy with that hilarious website who takes the piss out of people. No, I just wanted to hear a joke. Oh, Barry Denon 12, no comments. You guys! <laughs> You do it. That's the Aww. weekend. They're all out having a life. Yeah. Which I admire. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, fuck. Do you have any opinions about... Uh, Ooh, David, I have opinions about a lot of things. Go for it. Do you have any opinions about uh, Ubisoft's DRM stuff? Um, I basically... <laughs> sorry. Facade Hicks. We got a comment. You sound like okay. stupid Southerners. Wow. It took, oh, took week, wow. It, it took weeks for somebody to <laughs> it took weeks for someone to notice. Um uh, DRM is basically stupid. Um just uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> and yeah. and most of the implementations of it just piss people off and I, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's what just, I want to discuss with you mostly is the uh, from dust stuff. Yeah. Because I do have very strong opinions. I did um well, actually, to be honest, I don't really know how that works, so uh, you can... Uh, <clears throat> I said some mean things to a subscriber because he was being stupid. If you're listening, Ooh. stop being stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, I'm sorry? Uh, yeah. No, he was really annoying me, though. Anyway, <laughs> so I got from Dust, and most of the time I don't care about the, uh, you know, having to be online all the time, because I'm always online. Yeah. On my computer. <laughs> you have uh, Shut up, shut up. Because I've Can't got it plugged into the router. Farting. I've Sorry. got the router plugged into the wall. I'm not going to be offline. Yeah, and if yeah. I'm out, if power's out, then my computer's out. So, you know, whatever. 
Mm. Yeah, but I'm going to be online. In theory, I'm in the same boat, but my internet's always going up and down because it's shit. So I, I can't know, yeah. play games that require you to be on all the time. Yeah, true. And I'm but, bored. Anyway, I should anyway. be able to do what I want with it. Okay, Scotty, continue, Scotty, sorry. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just getting worked up. Sorry. In any case, I do think you should be able to play games that are single player. It's like From Dust is very single player. There's no multiplayer thing in it at all. Hmm. You should be able to do that without being logged into the internet. Yeah. Or logged into some sort of stupid third party service. Yeah. I don't really care about Steam because it's very useful and I get to like download games for it and stuff. Yeah. But that's me being a hypocrite. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Uh, but uh, what, what was I going to say? Um, I don't know. You throw it down. Shouldn't, it shouldn't happen. You throw down that kind of money on something. You, within a certain degree, you should be able to dictate the terms under which you're using it. Yeah, it's a single player game. You shouldn't be online. You shouldn't have to be online logged into a service to be able to use it. And they said that you wouldn't be able. You wouldn't have to be. And then you were. Mm. But and the, that, I think they patched yeah. it since ne- since then. But uh, yeah. anyway. But the thing is, that's just the way that the tr- big developers are trying to push it anyway. Slowly trying to edge people into stuff for you. It's only download. Uh, what do you call it? Based. You, like, you have to download it and all that shit, which is kind of alright. But and but then all that fucking online order thing, authentication bullshit is that's just the that's the direction it's going in, and it's kind of sad, really. I don't like the argument that the online order. Oh, is that what? Authentication. Yeah. <laughs> the online authentication is to combat piracy. Yeah. That that argument really pisses me off because if you're a pirate, mm. you're on the seven seas, you're downloading games to play, and you come across a game that has DRM like that, you're not going to get to the login screen and go, well, fuck, I'm just going to stop now. Because <laughs> apparently I can't play this game without paying for it. I'll You're put not it this gonna way. do that. Name like one game that can't be pirated. Like, is there one that you've ever heard of that just? Could I was not about. Be- to, I think the one game that comes even close to that is World of Warcraft. But the thing about World of Warcraft is there's people running their own servers. Yeah. That you can log into with a pirated version. So, really, there is no game that you can't pirate. I think the the one that I probably tried to pirate once, <laughs> I shouldn't admit this, but gave up on was uh, Rise of Flight. It was a flight simulator. Uh, first of all, I bought it because I liked the developers and I thought they were doing a good job and they're not a big company. But yeah, yeah. that was actually impossible to uh, try and find for free, so I just thought, fuck it. Well, okay, there's small games that you can't pirate because nobody yeah. has it. Yeah. But that's different. Yeah, the argument that the online DRM is stopping piracy is stupid because if you're a pirate and you come across it you're not going to go oh damn I can't mm. play this game you're just going to find the patch that gets rid of the DRM yeah it's fucking piss easy because if people are putting it up on the internet to, for, for you to download they're going to include that patch that gets rid of the DRM yeah yeah and the only thing that the DRM does <laughs> is annoy paying customers who can't access the internet mm. like I've heard plenty of people who are like they like game. They've got a long commute from work to home, etc. Hmm. And they have their laptop with them, so they try to play games when they're on the train. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You can't do that <laughs> unless there's Wi-Fi on the train, which there is no Wi-Fi on trains. Yeah, <laughs> unless, unless you're in some sort of super train. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm maybe in some American cities or in like London or something. But oh, jeez, it just yeah, I don't know. Since it, since it doesn't stop piracy, the only thing it's effectively doing is pissing people off. It's pissing off paying customers. And, and when is, when is it ever a good idea to p- piss off people who are giving you your money? I mean, it's like... Hmm. I don't get why big gaming companies don't actually get that. Because they're still pushing it. Oh, they're pushing like fucking crazy. Ubisoft, Ubisoft put a DRM on uh, Driver as well. Yeah, I heard about game. that. I actually saw an uh, article, but I didn't read it. But isn't that a fucking console game or is it... Uh, no, I think it's a PC game. Is it? Oh, I, I think so. That. Let me find out. <laughs> it's not, it's well, not something... It? I saw it on Rock, Paper, Shotgun, so I assume it's a PC game. Jesus, if I was playing it, it would be on the console, because it looks, just looks like one of those things that would run slowly on my computer. <laughs> well, obviously, you've got a fucking uh, Mac. I was talking about the other computer. Oh, Jeez, well, I don't even think it would Obviously, that's a shit PC. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's fucking pretty pretty old now. Um, I, can say, I can say anything bad about any of the computers in your house. There you come. Yeah. <laughs> how many videos is, how many uh, oh, Star Trek Online is going free to play anyway, oh yeah can I get it not yet uh, oh. sorry go on 
You're going to say something? I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I was still talking about... Uh, I just checked for, comments again I and I got distracted. <laughs> I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> you were actually starting a different topic and then you stopped. We were talking about... St- well, I was going to talk about Star Trek Online. I was going to add that to my list of topics, but I actually realised I didn't really want to talk about it. <laughs> we have nothing to talk about with it. No, I was more MMORPGs because I honestly don't know that much about them and... Uh, well, I, I can know. tell you a lot about them. I'm trying to um, imagine an environment wherein I would actually want to play one, and to be honest, I don't think it's possible. Okay, so from Dust, um, the... <laughs> I was going to say something else, but then you distracted me. I'm sorry. God damn you, Scotty. Why are you going to do that? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. The, yeah, so the DRM doesn't help at all. Hmm. And the limiting of the frames per second was also annoying. <laughs> when you were arguing with that uh, guy and complaining about yeah. him, you were actually, I think you were more annoyed about his opinion on frames per second than you were the DRM stuff, weren't you? I was annoyed on his opinion of the DRM as well. Yeah, but I mean, that, is no, no, two- that pales in comparison to somebody saying, the human eye cannot detect 60 frames per second. I'm sorry. I- yeah. Yeah, the guy was saying that um, you can't detect anything above 30 frames per second, so anything above 30 frames per second is pretty much just useless. Didn't he link us to a thing that showed that that's not the case? In support of his own claim? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know if some people can see uh, frames higher than 30 or not. No. No, I don't know, maybe maybe some people just can't tell, but man, that, that thing that shows you 15, 30, and 60 was so fucking obvious. Yeah, from my perspective, it was just stupid. And I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to insult the guy. Maybe, he, maybe he genuinely can't tell the difference. But uh, it was pretty bold of him to say nobody can see the difference. That's just how I feel. Yeah, the difference between thirty frames per second and sixty is very big. It's Especially so if you're playing a video game. That's the thing. If you're playing a video game, mm-hmm. because on like in the cinema, you can tell that the frame rate is a certain frame rate. Yeah, and then if you go watch your TV at home. Like your HD TV that you've got at your house, yeah. the frame rate's a lot. Well, uh, that's more. That's, that's some ref- sort of weird, like refresh the refresh rate, rate thing, of a television. Yeah, can really have a huge impact on it. It makes it look really smooth, and yeah, that's, yeah. obviously that's more than thirty frames per second. Oh well, yeah, it's, I don't know what it is, but um, fuck. But when <clears> you're playing a video game, that's the thing. If you're playing a video game and it's low frame rate, it's really annoying mm. because it's kind of taking you out of it and it's making your controls more like <laughs> jittery and try playing Mafia 2 at 10 frames a second man <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> no I'm actually getting quite far through the game the the, the only reason I'm sure I you are but I don't want to the only reason I'm not walking through is because I get this weird bit of lag where it um it'll freeze and the music will repeat and it's really annoying It'll go, and then keep going. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's just, you know, that, I don't know what would happen if I'm filming when that happens. I, it might break or something. So, yeah. But really great game. I want to do a walkthrough of it. Yeah. Um, do you say, oh, sorry, Deus Ex. Oh, I want to do a walkthrough of the original of that. Sorry. Continue. Deus Ex, Human Revolution is a pretty good game. I actually started it again just, just today. Just call it Deus Ex, will you? Deus Ex. <laughs> uh, Deus Ex, Human Revolution is a pretty good game. Is that what it's I, called? I, Deus Ex Human Revolution. That's the full title. I think you put Evolution in the title that you put I up. was following somebody else's video. I didn't actually know. I was going to get back to that. I just... <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, there can was you, a video... You put a video up and it said... Deus can you Ex fix that for me? <laughs> evolution or something. No, not right now. <laughs> oh, no! The like an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just following somebody else's lead. <laughs> That's pretty sorry. Funny. So you started um, started it again on the uh, no no murders. Yeah, because I want to I want to I don't want to kill anyone. And I actually got through the there's a f- mm. like one chapter that's six months before the actual game where mm. you have to run through the little lab and shoot people. Oh, okay. And uh, I just snuck past them all. <laughs> well, it's interesting. David's philosophy with this game is I don't want to kill anyone, and my usual approach to a game is I want to kill everyone. See, so the thing is, if I kill everyone, it's going to be like. Because on the missions that I have killed people, it kind of just gets really easy. Yeah. You hide behind a wall, you peek out for a second, you like aim, you line up your crosshair, you peek out, shoot, go back. Because one headshot kills everyone. Yeah. 
and it just, it just gets boring, and I want to play a stealth game. <laughs> and what what Deus Ex Human Revolution is wanting me to do is to get other stealth games. Mm. Like Thief. Oh, I love Thief. I want to play Thief again. I have two um, Thief games here, and we're supposed to do more levels of that. Why are we doing that? Splinter Cell? Splinter Sorry. Cell is really fun. Is it? On the, uh, I think on it's the crap. Uh, Xbox. <laughs> I've never played Why it. I think it's crap. You've never played it. <laughs> <laughs> Splinter Cell's shit. <laughs> what a shit game. <laughs> You've never, never played it, Scotty. I've never played it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and oh, uh, what was the other one? Metal Gear Solid, maybe, but I think it's only a PlayStation game, isn't it? You don't know. You I've, don't I've got no idea. idea. <laughs> Rainbow Six Snake. was pretty good. Snake! Remember, remember Rainbow Six? <clears throat> on the PlayStation 1, the demo that uh, I had? I played the PC demo, the first one, and I always used to try and kill my team on the outside of the building. Somebody's calling me, what the hell? Um, Someone's calling me on Skype. Skype, don't <laughs> add them to the call. No, I'm not going to. Um, okay, good. Oh, well... No, no, don't. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Because neither of us are recording it, so... <laughs> uh, somebody asked for our Skype the other day, um thing is, there there is a Barry Denon 12 Skype. Should I give that to people? I mean, it's just Barry Denon 12. Nobody... We don't use it. Yeah, the thing is, we don't use it because we haven't thought of any uh, of, of a way to talk to people yet, where we're both there. Like, I mean, it would... What's the thing I was going to say? We have no reason to go on Skype, except if we're recording. T- talking to each other, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I I thought it would be handy to have a third Skype in case there was times where we were both here and we felt like talking to somebody. Oh, um, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. So, there is one, and it's just buried in a 12, but the likelihood of us using it anytime soon is not very high. <laughs> until we, we, like, until we, we think, find some reason to do it. Yeah. yeah, well, a vehicle to talk to people, like, you know, a regular thing where we say, hey, we'll talk to people. I don't know. Hey, we want to talk to people. But, yeah, I don't know if that'll happen or not. I like games where you have to like get behind cover and then be sneaky. <laughs> I like the do sex because like you you're behind the cover and you look over the boxes and you're like oh there's people there and then they turn around and then you do the whole like animation of cover. jumping yeah. from one box to the other and and then you grab the cardboard box and you <laughs> shuffle it along the room and nobody notices. And <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just cut out holes in the cardboard box and put it on like a suit and just walk past. <laughs> as I said, I'm pretty sure there's a Metal Gear Solid <clears throat> game where you can do that, but it, mm. I don't know if it works or not. Wow. Snake! I'm kind of annoyed at, at Deus Ex for letting me do that. To Snake! Be honest. Yeah, it made it too easy. Well, I, I couldn't figure out how to do it any other way, but hmm. I think I still think it's stupid. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, um, how much longer do you want to go? Because I'm... I've got, I've got a couple more topics, David. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, go ahead. Okay, look, first of all, before I go on to my Shoot. next topic, you are going to bring over... Some freaking Xbox, David. <laughs> yes, I'm going to eventually. Because we, we, I want to do Red Dead videos. Because because I'm in I such know a, you do. Because I'm in such a Deadwood uh, mode at the moment. I know you do. So I know you are. I mean, I thought you said you weren't playing it. If you're playing with your Xbox, forget I asked. You can keep it as long as you want. But if it's sitting there gathering dust, then it might as well do that here with me making videos on it. Yeah, I'm not at the moment. I'm not playing it at the moment. No. Well, then bring the fuck down. It's just okay, anyway. bringing it over is the hassle, but yeah, go on. Right, anyway, what's your topic? You've been reminded. Anyway, uh, yeah, Deadwood. Great topic. I want David to watch it so I can talk about it. Um, okay, me and David so would, I guess, uh, what's your next topic? <laughs> me and David, no, well, me and David are talking about Timothy Oliphant. Now, the thing is, is that his name? Timothy Oliphant, yes. I think he's a good sheriff, and David thinks he's bad. <laughs> okay, well, I haven't seen much of Deadwood, so I can't speak... <laughs> Strongly on anything past the first I episode. Will beat you here in the street. <laughs> he just says to not very tough. He, Shut he, your mouth, god damn you. <laughs> he's not very gruff, he's not very tough. He, he's kind of just a pale little. And he's got such a soft voice. David. <laughs> I will beat you here in the streets. I was watching him. He had an argument with, Ju- with his Jewish friend the other day, and he says, I don't give a fuck what you meant. Or something like that. And he just, whenever he, when he gets angry, it's like he's losing control. He's, he's going to burst into tears. But I think it works, though. I mean, I don't think he has to be a tough guy. Like a stereotypical tough guy, anyway. Oh, he doesn't have to be the Don Draper of the West. I know, I know that. I know. You, of you, the you, West. You were saying, the West like you were saying the Rings thing. John Hamm would be a better uh, sheriff the other day, is that it? Yes. He would she make a, a better Starship Captain as well. 
bringing home the cattle safe. No, but um, the mustache doesn't help much. I keep on thinking of Cannibal whenever I see Timothy Oliphant in character. Yeah, it's it's a big goofy cowboy mustache. Just expect him to say Spadoinkel at every every turn. But the Deadwood sky is, such a- is blue <laughs> and all the leaves are green. Deadwood is such a great show, and you don't watch it, and you, like you're just punishing yourself by Look, not watching it. I've got it. it. I just haven't gotten around to watching it, Scotty. Game's always between being winning and being called a cunt. <laughs> when you talk to me, your mouth looks like a cunt moving. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the hood on a cunt to me, Jack. <laughs> I fucking love that guy. Anyway, yeah, you should watch more of it. I know I should. I'll. I might watch some really tomorrow. Should. Um, I need to finish watching it so I can watch some. Because I, know, I actually want to sit down and watch it, watch it, like properly watch it. Oh, okay. And I just can't find I can't find the time. Hmm. But you found the time to watch uh, Game of Thrones. That's because I enjoyed Game of Thrones. <gasps> <What>? HBO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to explain that to people, um, <laughs> me and Scotty would. Tr- I was trying to make Scotty. What the hell? Sorry, my uh, thing David was just trying to watch me watch Game of. Make me watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, I, I was trying to make Scotty watch Game of Thrones, and he was trying to make me watch Deadwood at the same time. Conflict. And so we decided to put them both into QuickTime and play them at the same time. <laughs> and when we pressed spacebar, the HBO logo came up on both sides, and it was like, oh, 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 oh. And it was it was and really it was kind entertaining. Of, it, was it was kind of funny. funny, and actually, it was a terrible story, and nobody laughed. I laughed. I laughed when I think about it. Obviously, but nobody's <laughs> laughing now. I'm laughing. <laughs> Shut up! Don't laugh. <laughs> no laughing is a story. Um, Don't laugh. Um, you got another topic? Oh geez, I wrote down another topic, but you're not gonna you're not gonna want to talk about it. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I, it says here, concept Come album. On. Start with Townsend, go on to Spiner. <laughs> that's, that's not really a topic. That's not really a topic. No. <laughs> I just what think, are you gonna I, say? I Pete think Townsend. I, he certainly did make some concept albums. And so did Brent Spiner. No, yeah, and you're so, right. There's okay, not like much yeah. you can do with that. That's a terrible topic. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I mean, it's pretty funny though. The, is it? No, that uh, Brent Spiner did Dreamland. I mean, I haven't got a copy of it yet, but it sounds pretty great. Yeah, yeah. Is it on eBay? No, I'm sure it's on eBay. I'm sure it's on Amazon. <laughs> Brent I'm Spiner. Gonna, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check in Dreamland. iTunes right now. Oh, because I actually really want to hear Dreamland. I reckon it's pretty good. <laughs> I, does Brent Spiner actually do anything in it? He talks and he sings, David. He sings? Dreamland. I didn't even know anyone really lived there. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to check on... I'm checking on iTunes right now. <laughs> Dreamland. The thing is, I mean, Pete Townsend, his, his concept albums, I've never really listened to a, the whole, a whole one, but they strike me as kind of crappy. Dreamland, Robert Plant, 2002. Compared to his Who stuff. Did, a, did Robert Plant do Dreamland? <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Dreamland. Brent Spiner. Oh, it just disappeared. <laughs> it was right there. What the hell? <laughs> that was the last copy just got sold while you were looking no, at it. it was right there. What the hell? Oh, man. There was a link to it, and then it disappeared. Shit. Oh, Dreamland. Jesus. Brent Spider. Spider. <laughs> I am... Brent Spider. Sorry, go on. I'm still reeling. I'm still reeling from the, uh... No... Thing. Yeah, so I keep I. thinking about it. Because it's it's going to ruin those movies for me. I mean, I, I'm a lucky owner of the DVDs of the untouched versions, right? But, yeah. I don't know if, do they still sell those? I don't know. Um, I kind of want to just set my stereo mix to record right now because I can play previews of Dreamland through iTunes. Oh, what? And I can hear it? No, you won't be able to hear it. No, you won't be able to hear it. Oh, all right. Oh, we'll do that then. Okay, I'm just going to click this button. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I can't do it while I'm recording. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. We don't nobody even cares anymore. Anyway. <laughs> Brent Spiner, Dreamland. It sounds like a pretty intense album, and uh, I will... I will... I will do something special for anybody who can send us a copy. So well, I can get a copy <laughs> off iTunes. We don't need a copy no, from I don't, people. We don't want to buy it. We want to find it somewhere off some... <laughs> we want to... <laughs> We're sponsoring the piracy of Brent Spider's music. Yeah, Bubba Booey. Yeah, he's got enough money. <laughs> he should have enough money. <laughs> but he doesn't. 
What are you doing? Make it snappy. I don't know. Um, this person keeps calling me on Skype. What was that? We were talking about one of the Star Wars changes the other day. What was it? Was it um? Was it Hayden Christensen at the end of Return of the Jedi? Um. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. I don't know. Since we've already talked about it, like nothing's really coming to mind. But it, it what bothered me the most about that is like they didn't even bother filming new video for it. It was something stupid like a costume test or something dumb like that. Yeah. And so in one shot, he's leering at the camera like a drooling pervert. And then in another shot, he's just he's smiling. He's not even looking at Luke. He's just looking off into the... <laughs> he's looking at George Lucas in the background, in the, behind the camera. Hey, George, George. Hey, George, I think this robe fits. They're like sharing a private moment. Yep. Um, what I said was that I understand why he did it, because he's trying to get create some continuity, but I still, I still think it's stupid. Yeah. I just, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's unnecessary because, as much as he didn't know what his what his dad looked like when he was a Jedi, he he wouldn't know what fucking Hayden Christensen looked like either. I mean, it's not like he's going to recognise him. Yeah, he'd see Hayden Christensen and go, "Who?" He's going to assume that the third person who appears is probably his father, right? Yeah. So why not make the father somebody older than him instead of this young schmuck? Because I mean, why did he go to Jedi Heaven? Shouldn't he have gone to Jedi Hell? He was still Darth yeah, Vader. He killed, a, he killed babies. It doesn't matter how good he got at the end. He was still Darth oh. Vader. You know, while we're, while we're talking about Star Wars here, all right, there's like a short list of things that would make Revenge of the Sith better. I mean, and you can you shoot them down and say they're stupid. Sure, all right, okay. first of all, Go okay. Ahead. In the bit where he where the, where the younglings get killed, yep. he should have, like, I don't know, maybe stood outside the door and just sort of uh, let stormtroopers go in. You know that old right. saying about the only what was it? no I don't know I don't know the old saying the only uh, thing required for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing or some shit like that. It makes him bad without making yes. him some irredeemable baby killing prick, right? If he just lets the clone troopers do his killing for him. Okay. Wouldn't that have made that better? I mean, like I don't, I I don't really have a lot of oh, sympathy. Okay, so you're saying that because overall he just wanted to save Padme and do like yeah. he just wanted to. Get the power to save Batman. Yeah, and if they're trying to make him look like a weak guy who couldn't stand up to the Emperor, then he is, he is oh, well, you know, I don't have to kill them, just get the Stormtroopers to do it. I don't know, I, I just think, that, yeah. I personally think that might have improved that a bit, because it, it's a hole in logic to, to assume that he's a good guy, but he killed babies. Um, that, that makes sense, but I do like that scene. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, it's because he's like, what you, Master, what do Master we do? Jedi, what do we do? Yeah, but that's because that's it's funny, it doesn't make forward. it a good film. Um, anyway, well, it's not funny. It's like Ooh. now with anyway, Padme. Well, funny. Yeah. I think Padme should have actually been sick with something in the movie, like actually died from a illness instead of a broken heart. And with the babies, I think what should have happened is instead of her having them at the end of the movie, she should have had them before the movie. In and for some reason, well, as soon as you say for some reason, that fucks it up. But um, just not told Anakin. Yeah. Um, like had them during nah, had them during nah. the war because that way they're oh not God. babies yeah. and Leia can actually remember her mother. Um, what I would say to that point is that I think Anakin should have been a bit rougher with her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 that's terrible. No, I mean <laughs> Anakin should have accidentally been a bit too rough with her and like you know, half killed her or something. So then when she gave birth, she died or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds horrible when I say <laughs> You should have picked that bitch up <laughs> Maybe you should be writing fan fiction <laughs> Maybe I should be Anakin's and Padme's hard time <laughs> No I just think yeah. It would have been better if they I don't know about like some sort of disease But I don't think she should have died from a broken heart If she would have sure gotten pregnant shortly after they got married And then Anakin goes off to war And she has the baby And, and I hate these words For some reason he doesn't know about the babies no, it's a, there's no for some reason that would make sense. I think it makes more sense than what they did in the movie. I reckon you could easily come up with something if you actually, you know, sat down with the purpose of writing a story. You know, well, but I'm I not. Think, I'm not here to patch up George Lucas's movie. I just, you know, reckon that the thing is they can contact anyone in the galaxy whenever they want. So she'd just go to the phone and say, "Hey, Anakin, 
guts some babies. No, but then, she wouldn't. No, no, no. She wouldn't oh, go. Oh, 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 do, do, do. Uh, Obvious, right, obviously, right, she doesn't tell him because the Jedi aren't allowed to find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're not supposed to. He's not. I mean, he's not supposed to have babies. He's gone for three years, and she's she can't tell him that she had babies because, uh, yeah, I can't. Well, so I- she calls Anakin, and Obi Wan picks up the phone. and goes, "Hello, Padme. Oh, well, how are you? You know, the Jedi. Maybe they spy <laughs> and on each other. She goes, "Oh, maybe the Jedi oh, spy Obi-Wan, on each other because it's a war. Were- <laughs> so she, she doesn't want Obi Wan picking up the phone by accident or monitoring it from somewhere else or whatever. You know, because oh, Obi Wan. I, I didn't know you were there with Anakin. Cloud computing is so insecure. You know. <laughs> So, uh, what do you want to talk to Anakin about? He's oh. not busy right now. <laughs> um, I think I'm onto something here. <laughs> just, I love you. Just tell him I love. Uh, tell him I love him. <laughs> okay. It, it won't mean the same coming from me. <laughs> Anakin, I love you. I mean, <laughs> she loves you. <laughs> oh dear. Um, You're an yeah, asshole. I'll talk to you, later. <laughs> you know that. Pat me. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I <laughs> think. <laughs> anyway, I think I. I think that. Would have made the movie better. <laughs> <laughs> that, that scene would have made episode three better. That scene would have made, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could it have been any yeah. more ridiculous than Darth Vader going, no, no. I mean, this is the point I made when I was talking to either you or Paul the other day, is that at certain points of uh, anguish or displeasure, <laughs> there's those times when you're really quite upset about something, you don't tend to go, no! I mean, you, you might make a noise. Like, if I was tossing someone off a cliff that I really hated, I might go... I don't go, think at any point in your life I might you go, would have to say, No! I might go, oh, I'm throwing them over the edge or something, right? You might make a noise. If you're upset, you're going, ah, you're crying, but you don't go, No! 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 I mean, there's like Toy Story when... No, no, when, no! When, when, when the, to- then the, the mo- removal truck gets away and Woody's like, No, 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 no! I mean, that, you know... <laughs> And then his hand starts getting burnt, and then he finds the match, and he's like, oh, that didn't Buzz, ha- get on the car! That didn't happen in Star Wars. Um, yeah. All I'm saying is, even, okay, I don't I think- I don't think at any point in your life you would go, no! I don't think they need to make Darth Vader go no in either film, but if they had to make him make a noise, couldn't it have just been some kind of, ah! I mean, it sort of sounded dumb, but at least it wouldn't be, no! spelt with 18 O's. Yeah. That's just how I feel. Exactly. Um, I'm... I kind of need shit, so... Do <laughs> uh, you want to wrap this up? Yeah, just because you, <laughs> you need a shit? You haven't contributed anything that you think would make episode three a better film yet. Oh, okay. Um, Mace Windu's death scene was ridiculous. That was... Yeah, I think less of the Emperor jumping around lightsaber fighting. Yeah, yeah. That would have been great. Because it he was, didn't need to do that, and because it wasn't even him doing most of it. You, you watch yeah, it was, the, you watch the special graphic. features, and they they tried to sort of drill him into learning how to sword fight for the for the for the day. And it's obvious that they gave up on a lot of that footage because they have all of this CG head stuff instead in the movie. And it looks stupid because he moves way too far. It's, it looks stupider than Yoda does. I just remember fighting, really. for that two or three minutes where they were all facing off at the broken window, I just sort of was sitting there in disbelief trying to figure out what was going on. It was like, no, 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 no. And the, and the mate's window going, he's the traitor! Ah! <laughs> have you, have you watched- in hindsight, it's, I haven't watched have it Have you watched it long. lately? Come over and watch it. Let's watch that for Yeah. <laughs> And he walks up to those other Jedi, and they just kind of fall over dead. I know. He Fuck. just goes, and yeah, stab you. And he goes, oh, no, I'm dead. For over a thousand and generations. And goes, oh, no, I'm dead too. <laughs> for, for over a thousand generations, the Jedi were completely fucking useless. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I was somehow the only one who was able to swing a sword without dying. Ooh! <laughs> Yeah. What was that? Uh, um, oh, that was my impression of a great dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it fooled the sand. It's about time to wrap it up. It, it fooled yeah, the sand. It, because, I mean, the sand people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, I made a joke about Mexicans, and then you just went out and said the word nigger. Oh, look, nobody's going to be listening by this point. If anybody, oh, if anybody okay. hears this part, please post a comment on the video to prove that you made it. And tell us we're terrible people. David, this isn't- we have Make the comment, we're terrible people. 
Yeah, yeah, say your terrible, terrible people, people. not us. Um, <laughs> no, don't say we're terrible <laughs> David, people. we haven't even... Okay, hit, I want to wrap it up. We Scotty, haven't Scotty. even hit two hours yet. That's fine. <laughs> we don't need to hit two hours. Okay, fine, fair enough. I'm just I'm enjoying myself. You know, I like talking to you. Yeah, well... <laughs> we get them pretty I well. I would like to... You would like to I shit. I do actually have to go do things, so... Okay, I think, I think we've, well, we've covered my list of topics, and uh, I would just, on a personal note, would like to apologise to Stephanie, the good game girl. I'm sorry if I posted any comments were offensive, I just think you're beautiful. <laughs> I, I reckon you could take a good cock. Hey, I, did, I did not say that, that was David. Isn't that what you said? That's what I meant. No, um... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, apologies to uh, Vanessa as well. I'm sure you're a lovely woman. Just uh, stop stop making music. Just please stop <laughs> making music. Yeah, so please send your feedback to shoeburger at gmail.com. I bet she's a party girl. Uh, at some point soon, we'll be able to put this up on iTunes. Hopefully yep. within the next week, I reckon. We can put this up on Mediafire or whatever you make I upload. I use Mediafire upload, upload. yep. We'll put it up there first, and then within the next week, we'll uh, put it up on iTunes, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so that was that episode. Yeah. I just want to go on the record as saying I would have gone on further, but David wants to stop talking and have a poo. So, uh, well, other things. Are- I want you to say it. I want to have a poo. Say it. I want to have a poo. <laughs> yeah, okay. A poo. A poo. <laughs> I got to do laundry. I so got lots of things I to do. I got to do the laundry. I have to do the laundry. I have to go to work on Monday, but I'm so tired. I'm maybe, so tired. Maybe I won't go to work. Um, so when are you going to bring over your segment of the... Oh, we can talk about this later. Um, yeah. Jingle? Uh, see, if I... The thing is, if I put my... If I put my laundry in the washing machine too late, then on Monday, when I put my shirt on, my bag's going to be all wet! <laughs> David. That was a big setup. such a Mexican. For, <laughs> for an offensive joke. A complete Mexican. Okay, so that's the end of the podcast. End of the podcast. End of the podcast. End of the podcast. Jingle, we'll be, here comes the jingle. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be back it. next time. Next time. In the future. In the future. Goodbye. Goodbye.